And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. What's the deal, y'all? Yeah, no, nah, this uh, the reaction I'm finna do right now. I got I got my brother with me, y'all. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? We sliding around, sliding around, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, though. For more this good content, we got going on here at TNN, Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Not legit, though. You can't get in nobody's college, though, big dog. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. We got going on over here at TNN, Trap News Network, big dog. Some news you can use. Some not legit, though. You can't get in nobody's college, though, big dog. Hit the subscribe button, become part of this Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all say tap in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on, man? Make sure y'all get into Crenshaw and King, Frida Trappers. Shout out to Frida Trappers, man. Make sure y'all get into what they got going on. Whole lot of good treason going on over there, man. They got that good pie out, man. Make sure y'all on Crenshaw and King. I got a strain. It's called a trap bloody. That's <laughs> this thing, so make sure you tap in with them. 10 G's for uh, honey. It's some fire. Did I smoke something with you? Yesterday, probably. Yeah, it was, yesterday, yesterday, it was, some, cake. Cool. It was some cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's some fire. Um, that's the trap lighting. That's what that's what I was smoking yesterday because I've been smoking it since they gave it to me. Um, long story short, but like for real though, not just because the camera's on, like I really been smoking it. That's like, it's fire. it's, that's it's it. not like when I was saying that I was rolling the leaves, but I was really rolling the Dutchies. Like, this is really smoking that. You feel me? <laughs> it was really that. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Get into that if y'all ain't got into that, man. We sliding around these South Central streets, man. Don't worry about nothing. But uh, get into this good Contiana, man. Get into this good Contiana. We give away $500. We get to 50,000 subscribers. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and get into that. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. Plus, you want to drop a comment because the best comment is going to get a $500 cash app. I just said that. But it's going to be a $1,000 cash app because T-Rail said that he's going to give away another 500 to match my 500 So shout out to T-Rail. Shout out to Back on Fig, man. That's some good chili on it. They are giving away here at TNN Trap News Network. $1,000, $1,000. Uh, how little you care is out now. That video just dropped. Make sure y'all get into that. If you ain't got into that, your love ain't for me. That's out, man. But um, yeah, that's that. You feel me? What about it? Uh, we finna jump into this Contiana, man. Y'all saying that Milk had a lot to say about a lot to say, but had nothing to say about me, man. They said that Milk is terrified to speak about Rich Trapper. We finna jump into this Contiana. Without no further do's or don'ts, man, we finna jump into this. Oh, you know what? Because I don't want to... Uh, I, I, I'm thinking about it, management. Copyright strike. Gotta go audio only. Switch phones, switch devices, because, you know, I ain't trying to get copyright strike and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we finna jump into this Contiana, man. We got the Milk of Magnesia doing his thing real quick, man. We finna see what's going on. Let's go. Southeast Weston Hill Milk Gang. Y'all already know how it's gonna go. And to the people on their first time log in, welcome to It's Milk TV. Now, come on. First of all, I want to know how everybody doing. Hopefully, y'all day going as good as mine. My day is going great. I feel good. I'm Hopefully, your day's going as well as mine. Don't worry about it. Milk words are hard. I should have been a better dad to you, though. Uh, that's your, that's your, that's your, that's your nephew, Milk. You feel me? I'm sitting next to your uncle. He, he. Hi, Milk. <laughs> You know what I'm, saying? I'm sitting next to your uncle, man. We both failed you. You don't know the difference between the day going good and the day going well, but it's okay, bro. Words are hard. Don't worry about it. The high milk was hilarious. <laughs> hey, isn't it? Look, isn't it crazy? Like niggas can clown milk all day because you know there is no real consequence. Like you could do it, say whatever. You can clown. You can joke. Oh my God, milk wants to fight. Saying nobody ever. Like, hey, milk be out here putting in work. Saying nobody. Like nobody care about milk, bro. You are not a factor. Now let's go, so. Brick Boy and Poetic Flacco, I guess, was politicking on my name. So we gon' So here's the thing about it. I'm the one that actually brought it up. I'm the one that said milk is not a factor, but he's gonna mention everybody but me because he don't want to pop out and show and just but I'm the one that actually brought it up because you know I'm always on a little orphan Annie. You feel me? So I don't know why you put it on Flacco and Brick. I'm the one that did it. <laughs> like why you put it on them? I'm the one that said it. We gonna see what's the script. See what they was talking about. Come on. I feel like that. Wait, listen. I feel like. Don't feel like you know it. Like that stable on milk is a fair because T. Rowe knew who he was. Mac knew who he was. So like, he's like, I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. We posted though, you nigga. Where I'm not saying that milk is not from where he is. I'm not saying that milk isn't who he is. I'm saying that nobody cares. Now people say simple like that yeah nobody as simple as that like we get it you from Hoover. you from seven phone nobody's denying that nobody cares and and then what uh it's busters from every set bro you're the buster from the set like nobody's tripping on you bro nobody cares about that like i'm not saying that he ain't from hoover like we we get it you from seven phone do you care do you know anybody who cares <laughs> like nobody cares 
Uh, he has 120 so based, so, so based off that right there, he should be on my head more than anybody. Yeah. Starting off early, you should be on my head. Like, you shouldn't be on Brick. You shouldn't be on Flacco. You should be hot at the Trapper. That Rich Trapper guy is going places, man. I like Rich Trapper. He's going places. But what's wrong? But, but, but essentially, what, Ooh, those but what are they're all, saying, those like, are like when you look at let, let's say you're a fan. Wait one minute. Did Brick Becky just say every single one of my subscribers are culture vultures? Why are you bypassing the fact that I said don't nobody care about you being from Hoover? I feel like that's more of a, a relevant topic than your subscribers being culture vultures. It seems like that would be the offensive part, like... Whatever, bro. Niggas are selective politicking. It's a lot of selection in this politicking. Did he call me a culture vulture? How could he even have the audacity to fix his lips to say Audacity was the word you were looking for. Audacity is not a word. Audacity was the word you were looking for. Big dog, don't worry about it. Words is hard. That word kicked your A double double. Don't worry about it. Anything like that when he worked for the definition of a culture vulture, Gilligan's. Damn, bro, words are kicking your A double double. Culture vulture. And then how could you say anything about him working for the culture vulture when you got paid for the coach by the culture vulture and then lost your page and your subscribers and all that kind of stuff because people stop respecting you after you cultured the vulture? Milking team? 22 is a culture vulture. You getting paid $1,500 a month by that culture vulture and he's making four to five times that a month off of you. Yes, that culture. So he paid you for that interview and how much did he make off your interview? Did he culture your vulture? Has your vulture been cultured? Has your culture been vultured? You feel me? How does this work, Milk? How does it work? Remember, he had a fire chicken sauce there. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Culture vulture. I ain't gonna say all my subscribers is culture vultures. That's just because you 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 like jealous. You feel me? I heard this before. All oh, all milk subscribers is white. All of them is this and that, bro. I no, I subscribe to milk. I'm not white. I just don't care. All type of subscribers from all various walks of life. You know every different race, creed, and ethnicity that approached me on the streets, bro. What's up, Milk? You know, we mess with your channel and all that. So that's kind of weird. Now, as far as him saying, who knows me? He's the I. He don't know me. I don't know you, homie. I don't know nobody that know you. That's actually, that, that's actually not true because you've made a very uh, well-known point to where you know people know about Brick Baby and you've even said yourself that he's not what he once was. So for him to not be what he once was would mean that he was once something and you acknowledge the fact that he once was something for him to not be anything now. So yeah, you know, that's that's pretty much what I'm just trying to say. Like, you, you know, you feel me? You are who, no, is who nobody cares about, but you're trying to like drag everybody to this like, like drowning wave of like water of no one cared them you feel me lake no one cares you want everybody to drown in lake no one cares with you but like you the only one with a hole in your boat and your boat is sinking and lake nobody gives a fuck so yeah in the streets i haven't been in the streets in 10 or 12 years bro who should know me who are you talking about this generation right now or are you talking about other people that could have knew me everybody that was in the streets gangbanging ain't on youtube and everybody that was in the streets gangbanging ain't gonna get on YouTube and talk reckless like you. Now let's talk about that case you caught. That stick that you got caught with, bro. Let's talk about that. Dang, bro, so now you snitching? He said that you was a nobody, so now you wanna talk about his case? What the hell is going on here? With the green cross? Yeah. Oh, he actually got a green cross now. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at him getting his shit together. All right, y'all, man, I'm gonna run into the homie dispensary real quick. We'll be right back. Be right back. Y'all, my bad, my bad, man. We had to slide back into this Katiana, man. We about to jump back into milk, milking team, man. Let's get into it. Let's go. How do you go to court for that? What is the outcome? Are you fighting that case? What happened with that? Hey, somebody saying that you're not a factor in the streets and then your counter is what happened to your case. It's very snitchy. Very snitchy. Like, when when did that kind of stuff become like a reputable, like, street ninja response? You a snitch. You a nobody. You a buster. Well, what about your case? What's you, bro? Like, why you call these ass on me? Golly, man. That's what happens when you ain't got your daddy in your life, Milk. You just start going to the police. That's your go-to, like, police games. That's weird. I want to talk about that. But let's go. Like, the 
here. Right here. You get know what I'm saying? Bro. You, you yeah. might know the starting lineup, yeah. Yeah. but you don't know all the bench players like that. You feel me? Like, and what they're saying is, if Mill gives an opinion on something, the entire city hears it and reacts to it. Though, so he's not a nobody. Now he's successful in his field. Yeah. He can't deny that. I mean, he went outside just walking, and there's niggas who driving by like this. I'm like, oh my God, Mill. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I respect you. You're impressed right. by that. So let me let me also tell you that game. I respect it, Flacco. You're impressed by that. I get it. This is make up for like 0.5% or 1% of the world. And yeah, like small we're like 1%. Of the of. So it's like, okay, those people driving by, it's a lot of civilians everywhere that watch YouTube. So yeah, he is a YouTube celebrity to for a sure. certain extent. He's recognizable. He's talking about gay culture. Sure. Gay streets of South Central. Yeah. Who are you? Brick. Oh, okay, Brick. Who are you? What are your memorable fades? What are your memorable brawls? When have you been somewhere or something happened and niggas like you know, got cracked? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you have done it. Up. Said nobody ever. You have you done it. Milk jumped out and did his stuff. Said nobody ever, bro. Said nobody ever. Milk, you ain't shut up, bro. Like, what is this dude talking about? This dude is like five years from the age of 40 and he's still worried about some street cred i never got on the internet you, you can't say nothing about nobody's street cred because you just brought up bro's gun case we're trying to diminish his street cred now you mad at somebody for talking about your street cred you're being a hypocrite milk we know that's we know that's high ranking uh, positions amongst your people we know that your people have a hard time accepting accountability but you just tried to diminish his street credibility by talking about his case now you want to say oh you're five years from 40 and blah blah bro you're past 40. Now what? You're past 40, and we're all in the same genre, bro. So if he's corny, you're corny, I'm corny, we're corny. I corn, you corn, we corn together, big dog. Don't do that. Don't do that. I've been this extra on that individual mind. Niggas be trying to move the goalposts. Because how you going to say, bro, corn, what, you what about your credit? What about your gun case? Were well, you trying to talk about my street case? What are you doing by bringing up his gun case? What's the point of that? He's trying to take away his street credibility, and now you mad because you ain't got none. Like you can't. Here's the thing about milk. You can't take away street credibility. Credibility. She is caking. Man, I was damn just bored. Man, I didn't want to show a video. But nah, man. what? I stop the video all the time to look at cheeks. She, she older too. Caking. That's what I'm saying. Like nigga, she got to be like fifty. For real. And she got the little jeans on. That's oh crazy. gosh, she caking. <laughs> I'm trying to see her face. That's all I'm too. She looks straight though. Oh gosh, she do. If she on that, she got chili. No, she's straight for sure. My bad, y'all. We was looking at a double double. Jesus, thirsty. Oh, like, like, <laughs> Super thirsty. <laughs> Super thirsty. I just been like, wow, like I've been crashing out my whole life, bro. And uh, like I said, if it was situations that took place with me and people dead, probably in jail, ain't talking about it on YouTube. You got something to do? Nah, hell no. After we smoke, you want to slide me down? Sounds like I get this chili from your brother. All right, yeah. All right, baby. Yeah. I ain't tripping. Who, and who cares about... Hey, is there a reason why you can't go through the drive through on 8th? No, I can't. I got cash on me. Normally, I ain't got no cash. Man, baby. please hit that one, because they got the honey duchies. For sure. They got them here, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Smooth. Oh, they see, you still care about... Yeah, bro, it's taxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there selling illegal blunts. You ain't supposed to have. It's too much money stuff. Some street cred that can't get you nothing realistically. I got but, it. But, All right, but, babe. but... Illegal, tangible we'll things like two. that. You can't get nothing off no street cred. You can't go to no bank. You can't get no apartment. You can't do nothing with that, bro. And what street cred you got, bro? What do you got? Who know you? You used to be from Harlem. You ain't talking about nobody pays attention or something, bro. What are you talking about? I'm the reason that the mass people know. That you used to be from Harlem Crip, bro. You used to be from Harlem. You are a hood hop. You hood hop. You went from Harlem. You got forced by your uncle to 6 up. So people must be paying attention because they know about that now, bro. <laughs> You know, you from North Dakota and know more about me than I know about myself. No, sure. To me, right? No, sure. Bunto, hey, right? Oh, it is. Right? No, hey, right? Bunto, don't you, like, okay, don't you feel like, though, there's something to be said about somebody who grew up where they grew, right? They never told. They never, like, went we don't back. Know. We, we don't know. We don't know. You know what? I don't sell his entire case. life. No, no, no. He has a sealed case. I showed that. I have the paperwork at the house. I'm selling his. He's not a snitch. I don't think. Now, why do they 
Miss Gilligan, Brick Baby keeps saying that he got paperwork on my name. Homie, I'm the Gilligan Slayer, the most hated, underrated, and anticipated. Brick Baby keeps saying that he got paperwork on my name. Homie, I'm the Gilligan Slayer, the most hated, underrated, and anticipated. Hated, underrated, underbraided? Underbraided means like you got like your braids braided under or something like that. Like underbraided is hilarious, bro. You don't think by now if I done told on somebody, if I cooperated with the district attorney against one of my homies or another person in the streets, you don't think that would have been came to the light, homie? Like, what are you talking about? Ain't that the reason why one of your homies got smoked for saying somebody told and couldn't produce no paperwork, bro? Still no paperwork been produced on that individual? You got sealed paperwork on what? So basically, you're talking about Nipsey Hussle. Milk has a real statement towards Nipsey Hussle who's always like throwing little shots and always having like little things to say and whatever about Nip. Like Milk always got a problem with Nip. Always. Always got a comment. Always got a statement. Always got like an underhanded little whatever. Woo -wop. But if you ever had to stand on any of that in real life, well, I guess he ain't gonna never have to stand on in real life because Milk don't come outside. Milk is a whore. You feel me? My bad. I'm sitting back so you can see. Uh, milk is a whore. He don't go outside. You feel me? Or you need me to go for it back? No, you good. Uh, milk is a horror who don't go outside. He a buster. He's scary. So milk don't touch down outside. So I guess all the things he say will continue to be said because he ain't gonna come outside to say it to nobody's face. Oh, ooh. This is crazy. This is what I'm saying, bro. Is like like losing it. You know that stuff he's ingesting in himself is like it, it's taking him out, bro. Shit like driving a spaceship. Nigga, that's when you say, oh, God. I got step, I ain't yeah. trying to fuck up this spaceship, nigga. Yeah. Clean, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I got my little brother driving away. I'm taking different routes and shit. Yeah, go, go hey, go, my bro. nigga, slide, I ain't tripping, slide. Slide. Yeah, Look, I'm, I'm cool with not driving nah, for one. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, go for it. Hey, slide. Place that's tight, like hell, no, nigga, we finna. <laughs> slide, I ain't tripping. <laughs> when all else don't work. Look, when you ghetto, you just throw your brother the whip, like, hey, go for it. Just slide, fuck it. They start with the lies. You ain't got no paperwork with my name on it, God. Produce it. Snitch, I'm thinking if I don't find something like that, but nobody that's, just cares. But that's so par for the course. That's yeah. bare minimum. Like, yeah, that's like, like, that's like essentially that's like saying you brush your teeth this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah literally. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, he did it. Snitch, snitch. Cool. you're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. I'm really having a hard time figuring out, like, how is this dude, Lutz, even involved in this conversation you see how bro is taking up talking about everybody but me yeah. <laughs> everybody everybody niggas know the truth so 600 ain't been outside you ain't seen nothing from him since i've been in the crib nothing it's silent we're going to the fight though what in there <laughs> in there you want to go yeah yeah i'll send you information uh and it's for the low it's like 40 bucks yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah we in there you feel me uh I got some, I can't say it on camera, but we're doing the, the hood vlog. That's coming soon. Walking up, you know, the woo up and all that for sure. Go get some chili cheese rice. You feel me? Yeah. Um, we ain't seen Loose Candy. Uh, Press Flakiana. It's been a good week. Outside activities. We ain't seen Milk, though. We ain't seen 600. And, and Milk is going out of his way to never. But see, when I was in Atlanta, if I was still in Atlanta, bro, would have for sure had something to say. Crazy Flacco outside though. Flacco outside though. Wow, <laughs> right. Flacco do be outside to his best of his ability. He ain't, you know, he ain't outside in the streets, but he for showing the sidewalk. Yeah. He for showing the sidewalk. He might be on the porch. You feel me? You know, let alone Flacco, but Flacco is defending me. But this dude looks like, why is he even in this conversation? He ain't never been the game banger. Bro, come on, bro. He's from a tagging crew. You don't nothing about the streets. Bro, why are you even in this you was only claiming attack so why are you trying to diminish lesser street credibility again you're past 40 years old talking about street credibility didn't you just talk bad about break baby for doing that oh you're almost 40 years old you're still talking about street cred i can't get nothing in the streets and all that but yet you're talking about lush being a battle rapper being a tagger and all that kind of stuff if that kind of stuff don't matter big dog why are you bringing it up if that type of stuff like you just said don't matter at the bank and you can't pay no bills with it why bring it up why does it matter in existence anymore you was claiming a tag well most tagging crews aren't in existence anymore because tagging crews are forced to you know join whatever is the major gang <laughs> in their area so we all know this like and then let's just like 45 50 if his tagging crew was still in existence they'd be a gang and no longer a tagging crew to try to become successful in your battle rap career but it didn't work bro it did not work 
you don't get trophies for that. You be a white from a black hood. You, you have to do extras. You, you have to be like, a standout. Like, that's being a black from the South Side of the game. You got to do the extras. I'm like, you supposed to crash out? Yes, he got the car. I feel like, I feel like that he had the car. They used this car. Yeah, the camera he up, he's talking about like, camera drill, yeah. Like, nigga, all right, fuck it. You over here, nigga. All right, come on. Milk just didn't have the car. He had a skateboard. And that fool's name is Milk, too. Now, like, he really feel like that I'm like Cameron Terrell. Like, I just popped up on the scene and, like, I was just getting used, abused, and, well, if you think about it, anybody from a gang is getting used to a certain degree, homie. But he said, oh, Milk is just was getting used or he felt like I was supposed to be a crash dummy. And I hate when people say that like, oh, just because uh, you, you're you white from a black gang or something, you have to go 10 times harder. No, I know people. No, that is actually true, bro. You do have to go 10 times harder. That's like if you were a black South Sider, you'd have to go 10 times harder. You have to go 10 times harder, bro. That's black. And they still got to go 10 times harder because none of their family members is from the set. They don't got no... Cousins, no brothers. What do that got to do with you, though, big dog? You talking about everybody's situation but yours. Nobody from the set, bro. They have nobody, bro. So they got to go harder. They got to do more to, to earn a name. But I have never heard of Brick Baby ever in my life, bro. Never, 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 never. But I really don't care. Like, I never came into this internet, YouTube space, saying I care about street kids. I care about street cred. Like... Street cred is this. I don't care about that, huh? Street cred is crazy, but don't worry about it. Words are like you, you about six years from the age of 40, or you older than that, you'd be like four years from the age of 40, bro. Three years from the age of 40, and you still worried about some street cred. Where have that street cred gotten you? Where have you got with that street cred, bro? Nowhere, no, 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 no nowhere. The only reason you getting somewhere now because you didn't got on a podcast. And, and you off them drugs and shit running your mouth speaking about stuff that you ain't even supposed to be speaking about. You ain't, so that stuff ain't even supposed to be coming out your mouth. A lot of the stuff that was done in the streets on my behalf, I'm not talking about it. Different story times and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm not implicating people's names. I'm not talking about no crimes that was committed. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm not, bro. But it seems like you're not scared. But them elite alphabet boys. It seemed like the the FBI is not a deterrent. Like you're you're not worried about them, bro. I, I just don't understand it because you get caught with sticks in your house, you bail out immediately, and then you still get on the internet and say wild stuff, like crazy stuff. Like it's the same situation with G Face, bro. It's crazy to me. Really? Yeah. 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 But at the end of the day, right? I just feel like that nigga being the same age as me, whatever. But shout out to him. He's a great yeah, father. Yeah, keep doing shit, bro. No, that, you got to give him that. Yeah, great father, sure. nigga. I seen him and the things that matter. kids off to, to, to prime and all that shit. And, and the that things that matter, he's like, a great father. I'll be honest. Sure. I think that shit, I, I DM'd him, and I never gave him a DM. I'm like, congratulations. That's wrong. Now, this is where it gets tricky. He said he never gave me a DM. Bro, you didn't DM me before. We didn't have like a low key, not a conversation, but we went back and forth in the DM. I don't remember you DMing me telling me congratulations about no type of nothing you just described. Maybe I can go check about it. Uh, yeah, but I, I doubt it. I don't know. But we're not the same age, bro. We're we're nowhere near the same age. You're about like almost ten years older than me. You probably like nah, cat, bro. Milk's, Milk's like forty something. I know I'm thirty four. Brick is like 36. I think Smack's like around 28, uh, 38. I think T Rail's like late 30s, early 40s, or something like that. Milk's somewhere in there, like older than that, bro. So listen, let's, let's not do that. A decade older than me, bro. We are not the same age. How do you know? If, you, if he's if he's a decade older than you, dumbass, that would make you 24. 26. He just said Brick is four years from 40, and then he said he's a decade older than him. So that would make Milk like 24, 26, something like that. I, I should have been a better parent. Bro can't count. I should have been a better parent. That's my fault. You should have said something about me leaving my kid like that. I kind of blame you, my nigga. You supposed to be my brother. You supposed to you just let me leave my kid. Not to say you can't count. Don't know, don't know how to count that case. <laughs> you know, YouTube making the whole family look stupid. Like, man. You, how do wow. you know my age? Have I ever told you my age? You almost 40. I'm not 40, bro. I'm not close to 40. What are you talking about? 
like right I'll, I'll be honest and I don't give a fuck no, about I think he's great at what he does that's hard you can't never knock a good dad yeah good dad traps in the chat for me he does like like he is a good at what he does and I agree with you when you just said he shakes the whole city yeah, to no, his core. Uh, he definitely makes an impact. Lunch, you should know that I shake this city to the core. Because when I shake this city to the core, shake this shitty is sound like like a bad bowel movement. Um, it's okay. Bowel movements are hard sometimes. Shout out to everybody having a hard bowel movement. Drink a lot of apple juice. Get a lot of green apples, some grapes, and prunes. Kind of flush you right through. You might want to drink water that way. Kind of lubricate your uh, organs and come pass through that. I digress. I say all that to say milk. You shake nothing but your meat in your hand when you're beating it, big dog. That's it. That's it. You don't shake the city, dog. That paperwork out on you, and when I told everybody what you did with that dog leash and your boss in that bathroom, bro, that kind of like, you know that, that sent the whole torpedo snappy towards you. What do you mean? You know I shake the city up. Stop playing. I'm the reason Crip Mac got done like that in Baby Snaps Alley. I'm the reason. I'm the, I'm the reason for a lot of stuff, bro. Like, you, you, I'm the reason Brick Baby is doing podcasting. I'm the reason. Being in, yeah, bro, like, because you told on a nigga, bro. Because you told on a nigga, like, you're proud of that. I'm the reason this happened. I'm the reason this happened. All I keep hearing is, I told on this. I told on that. I snitched on this. I Exposing and snitching is the same thing. Niggas like, I'm exposing you. You going to tell me? Some shit. It's my snitching, yeah. So like, I snitched this, I exposed this. I thought you're a snitch, bro. Sorry, snitchiana. You feel me? That all these gang bangers is doing podcasting, bro. Me, how me and what? Nobody, nobody was looking at Spider Loke saying, oh, you know, like, look, yeah, look at Spider Loke. He doing you. Nobody was saying that about Spider Loke. I'm the one that cracked this shit off. I'm the one that created this lane that everybody is following behind now. Me. Then why are you? But you know, why are you in last place then, bro? If you created the lane and you the you the you the reason why you the guy and you the joint you the ninja, why are you in absolute last place? Ouch! Imagine creating the lane and then everybody being better at it than you. Ouch! That's crazy. Like it's like, like creating a whole video game and like everybody's better at the game than you are. <laughs> Terrible, bro. It is. It's the same as him talking about all that street cred that I don't care about. Nobody is gonna like give me my flowers or what's mine because of the complexion of my the complexion of your skin you big dummy and that's not the reason nobody hates you because you're white we don't like you because you suck do you hate milk because you're white not at all is it because he just sucks as a human mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. like the white homies be cool <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just you bro like nobody hates you because you're white bro we hate you because you because you suck at life right, so i'm gonna keep it real i listen to your shit you just be out of pocket sometimes you know if you just like that there you go non-biased opinion i haven't listened to you i've been listening to you, listened to you sometimes you just be out, of pocket. Shit. you just be out of pocket i even listen to you watch a little shit sometimes there you go big dog it has nothing to do with you and i said i'm subscribed you feel me i subscribe to everybody's shit but it's just because you suck bro like it has nothing to do with the fact that you're white you just like trash person the complexion of my uh <laughs> skin the color of my skin no they they're not bro they're jealous like no nah, okay say that He's white, like. Wait, so we're jealous of you because you're white? Are you saying that the black man has a jealousy against the white man milk? Is that the narrative that you're going with? Are you showing your white superiority? Are you showing this white superiority complex? Saying that you're better than the blacks? And the blacks shouldn't feel no type of way as you are a guest in our culture because you're white and you're better? Is that what you're saying? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. A little bit. A little bit of a superiority <laughs> complex. A little bit. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that, bro. But I don't care. Like, like. I got Crit Mac DP. I mean, it's a, it's a whole bunch of stuff that happened because of It's Milk TV YouTube videos or on Instagram, bro. I'm not even sitting here and lying, bro. Like, I didn't put pressure on so much and so many people. It's not even funny, homie, from paperwork, all type of shit. You can't sit here and tell me that I don't shake shit up if I talk about it, bro. But come on. That's just a wait, very like extreme wait, 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 wait. He he knows, like, If Mel yeah, gives an opinion no, no, about no, some no. LA shit, I never it, respond. It, it, it resonates. Not everybody. Brick boy, why you keep lying? You never respond, bro. It's like two videos on my page where you responded to reactions I did. Like, why are you sitting here lying? You was on a video responding to me crashing out. You was on there crashing out, disrespecting hoods on there, and 
being like that, you was on there crashing out, responding to me, bro. When I did that reaction to you, uh, saying you used to be from 30s, bro, pressure. And it, it was another one you responded to. But you you respond, bro. You you respond. Like, stop playing. Where do you think Cowboy found out that you used to be from 30s front, bro? How do you think all these people... So, like, you happy at the fact that you told on this nigga? Like, you keep saying it, bro. Like, how you think they found out? How you think they know? From me. That's telling, bro. Like, bro, just keep acting like he not say shit. Like, that's blatant telling. Like, without no shape, form, or fashion, bro. Like, you did that. Found that out. You didn't, you didn't do no explanation. You didn't respond. <laughs> Bro, no, no, no. It's, 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 niggas have to respond. Bro, who? Oh, oh. The two biggest. Well, that, 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 that's why I repaint to react. That's, that's kind of my not, job is. But like, not him. Not, not no, no, no sweat to nobody. But the two biggest niggas don't ever respond to milk ever. or whack. Like, ever. we kind of are the forefront for the game culture. Uh, uh, Rick Boy, how is you the, 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 the biggest nigga in the of this culture, gang culture on YouTube. You don't even got more subscribers than me. You don't even have more subscribers than me. I'm like, what are you talking about? Literally, like, like, what are you talking about? And Wack, Wack don't mention me because me and Wack had, um, kind of like words from back and forth on a clubhouse a while ago. That was like my first and last time on clubhouse. And I'm pretty sure that people got at him. So that's why he don't mention me, I mean, he, you know, that's... I'm sure nobody got at whack for talking bad about you, Milk. I'm sure nobody got at whack for talking about you. Somebody pressing a line over Milk being disrespected is wild, bro. That's, that's, that's not what's gonna happen. Nobody cares about you like that, Milk. I was gonna say something rude, but I ain't even gonna say it. I am gonna say it. Bro, you're an orphan. Your people didn't care about you like that. Come on, dog. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody tripping on you, bro. From birth, ain't nobody tripping on you, bro. From day one, it's been the same since day one. Ain't nobody tripping on you, bro. Why? But you think I care if whack on honey mention me? I don't even say nothing to whack. Like I never even, if if I'm reacting to whack, that's him going in on somebody or something like that. It's not even really about him. Me, I be reacting to shit about you, brick boy. Brick boy. So you don't respond to me. But you bring me up and you mention me on a platform of almost 5 million subscribers. That's not yours. That you could get fired from any day for any reason. Like, like you, your show already got canceled. <laughs> but you the face of this gang stuff, bro. You don't even got more subscribers than me. How, what are you talking about? <laughs> you working for a culture virtual platform and you talking about you the face of what? Hey, come on. Just because of what the fuck, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. We never respond. These niggas have my job. Oh. It ain't no way I'm going back out there right now. It ain't no way she'll have an attitude. She'll be mad. I can give a good goddamn. I was just out there. This shit for her. Yeah, that's bro. Her. Yeah, that's her house. Yeah. With all the content I got to do today. Tony M. Slim never responds to milk. Really? He, does he? I don't know. Hey, man. Hey, bro, you for sure. Shout out to Tony M. Slim. They call him a, like a, 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 a little mutt, like a little straight puppy. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, dude, who are I mean, you? Like, yeah, he's, he's the voice of us saying, like, shut up. Wait. ODM is the voice of us. Is he went to milk crib and like, he, like, like, like he put that energy into it, bro. Like, All if right. you put a milk crib and, and like record a show, to show that you on. are a nobody, and none of the hoovers want to kill ODM over that. They're Ouch. cool with that. It is a fucking. It. It's Ouch. just milk. Yeah, I don't think ODM Slim going to the Hoovers to prove that milk don't be over there. None of the Hoovers feel disrespected enough to do nothing to him about it. it. Says everything about what they feel about milk. Pretty much. He went over there, did what he did, and nobody wanted to murk him about it. Milk, you just from over there, big dog. Nobody it's just milk. No one, no one can like, don't make a fuss about it. It's just milk. You get it's what I'm saying? Milk. Like now, whoever they talking about went to my crib once again. If some random cut go to a random. Oh, random. He didn't go to the Hoover's for Odie, for, for, for Milk. That's my fault. He went to his house. But even that, even the fact that whether he went to the wrong house or whatever, the fact that nobody had nothing to say on your behalf is everything. That's still disrespect.
It's still disrespect. It's still it's still a heavy level of disrespect. The fact that nobody cares says everything. Are gonna record a video where milk is not in the video, and that's on them. That's weird, Gilligan, corny activity, and he's talking about Hoover's don't care and all. That. It's videos of Treyway 6K saying that people was calling him and saying, yeah, they gotta like. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, milk. Let me find out that you gotta have a, a, a 18, 19, 20 year old be your vouching point. How old is the Treyway 6K kid? He young. Yeah. Too young to be vouching for milk, where milk should be vouching for him. Yeah. That's a weird dynamic. Shout out to Treyway Six K though for being a uh, milk's big homie. Yeah. All right. They, they need to go up and no jumper with milk. Milk don't call nobody. Milk don't rely on nobody. You probably call people. Oh, you know what? Hey, Cuz I just got a tool with him. Be on standby. Be ready. Like I don't do that. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not about to put nobody else in my issue. I, that, that's why you always like in some weird little like crosshairs and between rocks and hard places. You supposed to be a grown man, bro. Nothing without my homies. Your homies. Like you always gotta mention our homies, bro. That's weird Gilligan activity. Don't nobody say nothing about ODM Slim. What other Hoover is doing YouTube? <laughs> what who who is doing YouTube, bro? And do it look like I need help? Huh? Do it look like I cry for help like you? Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about it, though. And I'm gonna log back in. I'm all right, man, that's the end of that. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content. Y'all going here at TNN Trappers Network, red dot slide to the left. Y'all know it's free. Avenue Angel, so he's free, though. Go.